Mwenge South. A team from the Secretariat of the Ruling Party, the National Resistance Movement, interfaced with the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee that is scrutinizing the Constitutional Amendment Bill No. 2 of 2017 that seeks, among others, scrap the presidential age limit in the Constitution. Led by NRM Deputy Secretary General Richard Todong, the NRM team argued that the amendment of Article 102 closed beyond the presidential age limit as proposed in the bill popularly known as the Majesi Bill, would remove discrimination and align Uganda's constitution with other national constitutions in the region. Age limit should be removed from the constitution so as to build confidence in the population that they hold the real safety, safety nets against dictatorship, tyranny, oppression and exploitation through people's power exercise at the time of election. Do you find any fairness in saying that a man that has been allowed to rule a country for 35 years can come out and complain about marginalization as a result of his age. I don't know whether you would like to inform this committee the cap of which group he thinks shall be marginalized by removing the upper limit of the age, 75. It was said that we seem to be concentrating on the upper limit, not the lower limit. But I'm sure if members can read through our document properly, we are talking about both upper and lower age limits. Todong also claimed that Article 102B was smuggled into the Constitution because it was not part of the views Ugandans gave to the Constitutional Review Commission, led by Justice Benjamin Odoch, ahead of the writing of the 1995 Constitution. But committee members led by Bugweri County MP Abdu Katuntu disagreed with Todwang, saying the clause was proposed during the deliberations in the Constituency Assembly by a delegate late Nobo Mayombo. Apparently, Mayombo's intention was to block former President Mito Nobote, who it was feared had plans to return home from exile in Zambia to contest as president. At this time in 1995, Obote, who died in 2005, was approaching 75 years of age. The existence of Article 102B in the Constitution is unfortunate because it was clearly not the wish of the majority honorable members of the Constituent Assembly. The record is in the answer of the Constituent Assembly. Uh, is it an, an indication that this Article 102B was smuggled into the Constitution? Is it possible it's an illegality? Now that the NRM is raising the matter that this Constitution we have has smuggled in clauses, we have to interrogate it. The committee was also scheduled to hear from representatives of opposition political parties, but they shunned the meeting without giving any reasons. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament. Well, I'm from Mola 